Imagine driving on a single superhighway that could take you across the entire planet. As crazy as it sounds, such a highway has been proposed by Russia, and if it were to be constructed, you would be able to drive from London, through Russia, to New York City. Vladimir Yakunin, the president of Russian Railways, asked the Kremlin to carefully explore the option of approving the Trans-Eurasian Belt Development Proposal. This highway would be the first modern transportation corridor connecting the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, a near-impossible engineering feat that many in the past believed would be an impossible task. However, for Russia, this is a task that they believe can be done, despite the world thinking they would be crazy to try and complete it. The plans call for the building of a new high-speed train as well as the creation of major highways that would cover Russia, connecting current transportation networks in Europe and Asia, and crossing the Bering Strait. This would be a network of around 12,400 miles of networks in length. If approved, this new route would connect Alaska in the American West to Russia in Eastern Europe, making a one-of-a-kind route and the first truly global transit route. This would be the world's longest road, crossing three continents, North America, Asia, and Europe. But before we continue the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell so you can get the latest videos about multi-billion dollar construction projects throughout the globe. The proposed Trans-Eurasian Belt Development, also known as the TEPR, includes a gigantic highway paired with a high-speed train that would transport passengers from New York City through North America and Eurasia to the City of London in England. The total path from New York to London would be roughly 12,590 miles long. The first 4,000-mile leg of the trek is from New York State to Alaska State, and it's another 244 miles to Fairbanks in Alaska, where a new 520-mile route to the Alaskan coast will be completed. From there, a 55-mile undetermined transit route over the Bering Strait and into Russia will have to be meticulously designed. After 6,200 miles across Russia, the distance to London, England is merely 1,500 miles through the European capitals. The TEPR will not only design an innovative new rail network, but will also build important roads and highways for increased economic activity. The necessity for pipelines to transport gas and oil, as well as the construction of power and water services, would create new businesses. More cities and opportunities in distant locations like Siberia, where isolation is a real issue, might help individuals to feel linked to the rest of the world and increase their economic output and trade. However, the idea of linking America to Russia is something that has been in people's minds for over a hundred years, and none have yet materialized. In 1890, William Gilpin, the first governor of the Colorado Territory, envisioned a gigantic cosmopolitan railway that would connect the whole globe through a network of rails. Two years later, Joseph Strauss, who went on to design over 400 bridges and eventually serve as the project engineer for the Golden Gate Bridge, proposed the first Bering Strait Rail Bridge. The concept was offered to the Russian Empire's administration, but it was immediately rejected. In 1905, Tsar Nicholas II accepted an American plan to build a bridge to link the two continents. At the time, it was anticipated to cost between 65 and 300 million dollars. However, the start of the Russian Revolution in 1905, followed by World War I, destroyed all these ambitions. Since then, there have been a few attempts to reignite interest in building a bridge between the Bering Strait, but it is only the most recent plans of the TEPR in the last few years that have been taken the most seriously. According to Mr. Yakunin, this route might become the Goelro of the 21st century, referring to Lenin and Stalin's intended and executed large-scale electrification of Russia between 1920 and 1935 for national economic recovery and development. Vladimir Yakunin believes the initiative should be transformed into a global future zone, involving several states and cities, with a focus on leading future global technology. This project is indeed expected to be unbelievably costly, however, the hope is that the economic benefit of this route would be considerably greater. He believes the economic impact would be great as it would aid in the construction of new cities and the expansion of existing ones. All this traffic and growth across the route would allow for a large number of new employment and it would also aid in Siberia's and the Far East's development. It would also make traveling in these areas less expensive and cause less traffic on the current interstate and cross-country routes in the region. 
Vladimir Fortov, president of Russia's Academy of Sciences, believes that although the project is incredibly ambitious and costly, it would alleviate many difficulties in the large region's growth. Despite the truth behind this, the Trans-Eurasian Belt Development Initiative would undoubtedly be Russia's most ambitious global undertaking. The development of the Trans-Eurasian Belt is seen as an important step in linking people from all over the globe, bringing them together and removing the isolation that they confront because they live so far away from transportation routes. The network, according to Viktor Sadovniki, rector of Moscow State University, would help the Far East and especially Siberia feel more connected to the rest of the globe. This claim holds to be very true, as driving in Russia is very difficult since most of the highways connecting villages and cities in Siberia do not even have asphalt. They are mostly dirt roads, rendering them almost useless as mass transport networks. The route would link Russia and North America by traveling through Russia's far eastern Chukaka region, over the Bering Strait, and into Alaska's Seward Peninsula. It will also link Europe with a high-speed train system and will almost certainly pass through cities such as Fairbanks, Moscow, Berlin, and London. Looking at the figures, the development of the Trans-Eurasian Belt would cost trillions of dollars and would make it one of the most costly projects in history. However, many behind the project in Russia believe that its completion would be critical for their society. The idea of this mega project also matches Russia's imperialist ambitions, as Russia is known for large scale public projects that the government can be proud of and celebrate as a great achievement. The Belomor Canal is an example of a project that was created by Joseph Stalin as part of Russia's strategy to show Soviet strength. This project was completed in the early 1930s, when prisoners built the 125 mile long passage, commonly known as the White Sea Baltic Canal. Another example of this is the Trans-Siberian Railway, which connects Moscow to Vladivostok at eastern Russia's southern point. But there are still major challenges in the current plan to build the Trans-Eurasian Belt that have some asking whether this mega-project is really feasible. Russian officials' suggestions on the project are still quite shallow and no one has as yet indicated where the immense finances required for the project would come from. The plan also does not describe how a road would be built over the Bering Strait, which divides America and Russia by roughly 52 miles at its narrowest point, a very substantial engineering challenge. The strategy also depends on Russian-American cooperation, which comes at a time when tensions between the two nations are at an all-time high. Despite the varying and opposing ideas behind this staggering mega-project, it is not hard to believe that the Russian government believes it can be done. It's definitely conceivable that someone in the Kremlin may see this as a terrific opportunity to promote the local economy and demonstrate to the rest of the world that Russia is capable of completing mega projects that were always thought to be impossible. However, if the proposal to build the Trans-Eurasian Belt development is approved, the highway would not be complete for many years. So, what are your thoughts on Russia's plan to build a superhighway to America? Let us know your thoughts about the proposed mega project in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. See you in the next video.